Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunshine in Dark Times Daily Devotional. This is Misty Caldwell. Happy Tuesday, guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far and a great week. Um, as we've start, just now started it and hope it's been great for you guys. Um, again, today is Tuesday, December the 8th, and our devotional today is called Training Our Children. Our scripture is found in Proverbs 22, 6, which says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Children need to know right and wrong. And the best place to learn it is at home. If they don't learn it there, they may end up without moral and spiritual anchor. Children also want their parents to care enough for them to be strict. Parents who refuse to discipline their children are actually sending a signal saying they don't care what happens to them. The Bible says, He who loves his son disciplines him properly. Proverbs 13:24. The Bible also says to train our children in God's ways, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Isaiah 28, 10. In other words, when a child is about to become a teenager, we can't suddenly say, I've ignored it so far, but now I'll cram religion and morals into my child. It must start the very moment he or she has any understanding. But what we do is as important as what we say, for our children usually acquire their parents' characteristics and habits. What are our children and grandchildren learning from us? Hope for today. Children don't need a perfect parent. They need parents who point them to a perfect savior. They need to see the fruit of the spirit in our lives and a faith that matures over the years. Guys, I think this is an awesome devotional and probably one of the most important ones that us as parents and us as Christians um, need to take in and really take to heart and ensure that we're doing this in our children's lives. Um, I know that for most, it's no secret that uh, last Friday, my grandfather um, passed on, graduated to heaven, and we're getting ready to lay him to rest today, but... Of course, he's been on my mind and my whole entire family's been on my mind these last few days. But guys, this devotional brings him to my mind so much because as we have gotten together as a family, as we've spent time together, I look at his four children who are who they are today because of him, because he was such a godly man and such a a head of the household and led that family spiritually, um, grew them up in church, made sure that the foundation of their home was Christ and he was the center of it. He loved his wife with an unconditional love and showed his entire family what love means. And guys, he trained up his children in the way that they should go and they have not departed from it. Um, Gosh, I hope that I hope that I do that for my daughter and my grandchildren one day. Um, I hope that his legacy lives on through each and every one of us and that we've learned to be parents and grandparents and Christians and spiritual um, leaders because of the example that he shows and through him that this world has changed. And I, and I truly believe that. Um, I'm not a perfect parent. I'm sure he wasn't. I, I know nobody is. But guys, if I can point my child and my children's children and any other child in this world to a perfect Savior, we're doing something right in this world and doing what God has called us to do. So all you parents out there, actually anybody out there, check your lives and make sure that who's looking around and who's seeing you and the example you're making. Because even if you aren't a parent, you may have a niece, a nephew, a grandchild somewhere, um, a leader of a Sunday school, or even just someone passing by th that sees you on a daily basis or even often. Um, 
you set an example for them. So make sure that the fruit of the Spirit is shining in your life and they're seeing a faith that's maturing over the years and showing them a true example of Christ. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Please keep my family in your prayers if you don't mind and go have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for listening and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.